and if you're not welcome back as you can see from the thumbnail we're about to get into some more valentine's day nails if you know you know if you don't then here you go i found this design from a different youtube creator uh shout out to top beauty first and foremost i love her i love all of her designs i love how down to earth she is so yeah again shout out to top beauty i found this design um it's one of the recent videos that she uploaded but i did not click the video i did not watch the video because i wanted to try my own take on this design um and my own technique now once i get done editing this video and everything like that i'll go back and i'll watch her video just to see what we did different how her technique was and how she created the design and if it was anything different than what i did on my design um i love learning new things from other uh, artists I love learning new things, period, first and foremost. But um, learning new techniques from different artists is, it's like a different, it just hits different because you, you're you doing work so much so often and you'll do it the hard way for so long and then somebody will come along and be like, oh, there's this hack. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I wanted to see how I would do it, just trying it myself. And then I'm going to go and watch uh, Top Beauty's video because um, I think that she's great. She's awesome. And she might do something different than what I did. So, yeah. If y'all want to see how I got this design on um, my technique and, you know, the different, the little extras that I added to the designs, uh, make sure you stay tuned. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos that I post. And let's just get into the design. Okay, so I use Mia Secret Cover Beige for the base of the nail design. I did not have a lot, so I decided to go with a thin coat of this color. And then once I encapsulate with clear, um, it'll give me the thickness that I want for my actual nail. This is me going in with my clear acrylic to encapsulate the entire nail so that once I start shaping, I don't take away any of the color. And it's also going to give me my apex that I want. I did not create the apex with the color, I used it with the clear. Okay, so now I'm going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit that I got from Shein. I'm just going to lightly shape um, the nails with this bit and I'm also going to go around and seal the cuticle area with it and get any light bumps that are on the surface of the nail. I do this so that it can, it can take away from the actual hand file time. So I do any, uh, I guess, big discrepancies with the drill and then just to clean up everything after this, I go in with the hand file. So as far as shaping the sides, I like to look at it from this angle. That'll let me know which side I need to file more on so that I can make sure I keep my shape and get that perfect shape that I'm looking for and make sure the sides are crisp. Um, I think that that angle is perfect because it's going to make sure that my nail is not leaning to more to one side than the other. So now I'm going in with my 8080 grit nail file to just make sure that my filing is crisp and my shape is exactly like I need it. Uh, I do want to say that with these particular files, I have to do a lot of extra work, which is why my drill comes in handy before this, because these files are trash. Like, I got these from Shein. They were like 10 in a pack. I bought like two packs. Um, so, yeah, I kind of only use them on myself in my practice hand just to get rid of them. 
but they bend so it can really mess up your shape you want to find a foul that does not bend especially if you want those very 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 straight crisp um, sides and uh, tips on the nail you want to make sure that you get some files that don't bend i've heard a lot of good things about car lash but i've not purchased them myself so, so i think i'm gonna go ahead and try that next and see how those work out but yeah 10 out of 10 is not what these are this is a one out of 10 do not recommend okay Okay, so I did buff off camera. It was just shaking the camera and the table way too bad. So I just did not upload that. But y'all know after I buff, I also go in one more time to hand file to clean up and then do the tips. So that is what I'm doing here. And then after that, I just dust it off, wash my hands, make sure I use the brush and get all in the cuticles to get all of the dust out so it doesn't mess up the design. And then I start the design. Okay, so this design let's talk about it i did all the other nails right it was they went very smooth but as soon as i turned the camera on to start recording for y'all things just start going left i don't know if it was performance anxiety or what but i did not take it out the video because i'm like let me just show y'all if y'all mess up how it can be fixed so that's what i did but yeah i promise like i did really good on the first couple of nails and they did not take long at all but i just kept messing up on this and i don't know if it was because of the camera or what so eventually i just turned it off because i was getting frustrated but you get the gist you get the idea
Once I finished filling in the French tip design, I top coated with a shiny coat and I went ahead and started the actual Valentine's Day designs that I wanted to do. These lips were pretty easy to do. I really thought they were going to be a lot harder than this, but they were really easy to do. But I do want to say that my man told me that they look like bacteria, you know, like in a chemistry book, like those little pictures. He said they look like bacteria, but you know, he's a certified hater. So we just going to ignore what he said. These came out really good. I did not put any powder on the thumbnail because my thumbnail was initially my practice nail for the design to see how I would go about doing it. Um, so that was just all um, top coated with regular uh, top coat and it didn't have any glitter or anything like that. So once I'm done, I went ahead and cured for about 30 seconds, dusted off any excess powder, I top coated the thumb, I added cuticle oil, and this was my final look. If you guys like this video, make sure you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos that I post. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.